So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the, um, the idea behind uh, my gallery space here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, uh, the Carrie Abel Gallery. I had a, a vision of a space that would be something that, that I would have loved to encounter in every version of my younger self. Um, so I first noticed that there was really a lack of physical spaces in New York City for emerging level visual art. So I wanted to create that um, as there is just so much talent, especially um, here. Um, and then secondly, I wanted to create a space that I would have enjoyed as a child. So that's why we uh, made the front door a chalkboard door that um, I look at as sort of a ephemeral community art project where um, children as well as adults are invited to come and make uh, chalk drawings um, on the board. And then we um, clean it off every day and it's a new ephemeral art piece every day. Um, and then also uh, we're going to be doing a once a month uh, free art class for kids in the neighborhood. Um, again, because, you know, art is, I think, just very vital um, to all children, not just those that think that they're going to become artists. Um, and thirdly, uh, as a fledgling musician myself, um, I really have noticed the lack of spaces dedicated to uh, living arts like poetry and music here in New York, they tend to be more um, a place where you have to pay to perform. So I wanted to create a community space um, where musicians and poets feel welcome and comfortable sharing work that they are uh, working on. Um, so that's why we have every Sunday night this is from 6 to 8 is Living Arts Night. children that have a lack of access to um, you know being exposed to art um, I see that as being a, a salvation for them with you know whatever it is that they may be dealing with and often um, you know it's people that that don't have the access to arts education or the materials that probably could benefit the most like it's not kids that um, you know whose parents are paying sixty dollars an hour for like private lessons it's like the kids who you know, like maybe they don't see their parents all day and they get beat up at school or, you know, like those are the kids that need to know that like this is important and, and you know, this is something that you can do for fun or um, just as an emotional outlet. Um, I've had experiences teaching kids where um, they weren't able to talk uh, about any of their issues, but they would just start, they would start painting and then and they wouldn't want to talk about it, but they would just start crying and then they would, as they're painting, and then they would feel better. Um, so I know it works. Um, I know that it's very important. So another, just another going on that aspect of like when art became also uh, really important to me, uh, uh, I think when I started doing it for hours a day, like to, where I knew that it was something that I couldn't live without and I wanted to do it professionally, um, my dad passed away when I was in college and I think at the time um, I was thinking, oh, I should do something like graphic design or architecture or, you know, but I was like, you know, anyone, like I could die tomorrow and, you know, somebody I love, you know, like there's no reason not to do what you love and what you're passionate about now. Like, even if that means, um, you know, living, like having to live very cheaply or whatever, it, you know, there's just no reason for it. Um, so I think that that was the point that I decided, um, that it was going to be not just my passion, but my career. Um, and I was I just turned 21. Um, and he was always very supportive of, he didn't understand art, uh, but uh, I remember him telling me that, you know, if I did what I loved for a living, I would never work a day in my life. Um, so because of that, he, you know, I, I think that he's happy and, and um, proud of me for doing that.